These are the moments you never forget. Exploring magical lagoons, discovering forbidden lakes that are inhabited by a giant sea monster, and watching the fiery sunset with amazing friends. These are the reasons I travel halfway around the world just to experience new things. Uh, good morning guys from Koran Soleil Garden Resort. I don't think you're ready for this, man. Why? It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Arguably one of the most cinematic days I will ever shoot. This is going to be my second time going just over there to those islands. In between, they are the Twin Lagoon, a bunch of other lagoons here in Koran, Palawan. The Philippines. Okay. We're loading up onto this here big boat. So yesterday I got a DM from a couple that I had actually met about eight months ago in Bangkok. They've been continuously traveling up to this point and they've joined us today on the tour. TT Travels. Hey guys. We got you? Tom and Tori. You guys haven't been here before. No first time, so right. excited. Yeah, this is the most beautiful place in the world in my opinion. So. It's a Lost the Luck special. It is, thing. yeah. <laughs> Right behind me are the very, very distinctive limestone formations that are all across Quran. This is what makes it so beautiful here and El Nido. Uh, we'll be going to El Nido in a couple days, but just so stoked to be here. If you weren't convinced why this is the world's most beautiful place, well, I think I just gave you your reason. Oh my gosh, getting this thing up here is amazing. It's just the most beautiful view from above. I mean, down here, you get perspective of the grandeur of the entire area. You can see the depth of the water because it's so clear, the height of the mountains. But when you get the drone up, like you get that bird's eye and it just changes everything. I absolutely love the lagoons here in Quran. In my opinion, it's a bucket list item, a place to see and experience. Oh, so excited to be here. I wish I could say Jamie was feeling better, but right now he's fighting, fighting a bit of a headache. Yeah, definitely. Not feeling 100% whatsoever. All right, what's cooking in the kitchen? Eggplant? Eggplant, yeah, yeah. yeah eggplant. eggplant, okay, and some tomatoes, some fish. Right on. I'm excited. All right, so everyone else has already gone on a little tour. I was flying my drone. Now I gotta go find them. <gasps> It's like the perfect temperature as soon as I get swimming a little bit. So the guide was telling me there's like some interesting thermal activity going on in these lakes where, you know, normally on the surface is the hot water because heat rises, cold water's on the bottom. Here it's actually the opposite. I don't understand why. The cold water is on the top and if you swim down, it can get as hot as 41 degrees. So I'll have to try that out in the right place. But first, let's find the guide. This has to be the most beautiful day to be here right now. The weather is perfect, it's not that hot. Nice clear skies, I'm in heaven. This is God's chosen land. He gave all the most beautiful things to this place. Fresh and salt water we're mixing. Ah. And then the, the cool water on top. That's yeah. fresh water. And at the bottom part, the warm one, that's yeah. hot water. He was just explaining that the reason that the cold water stays on top and the hot water goes to the bottom is because this is where fresh water meets salt water. Not gonna get too scientific into it, but that's basically why. But the cool thing, it gives this very weird look to the water on the top level surface. And I guess that's that process of the fresh and the salt water meeting. It's so hard to get down there because the salt water wants to keep you up, but it's way warmer. Oh my gosh. That's like a 10 degree difference in 10 feet. All the way out here in a beautiful lagoon and this here Kuya is selling some beers. Cervezas for everyone. Mad respect. It's just been such a good start to the day. But do you know why oysters and clams they don't know how to share? Because they're shellfish. They're shellfish. Oh! <laughs> you robbed them. <laughs>
That's fresh eaten. How are your vegetarian options looking here, Tom? Well, we've got good. We've got uh, tomatoes. <laughs> Nutritious and delicious. So we've just disembarked on this little beach here and we're going to eat some food. It all looks really good. Like I said, not a place for vegetarians, but as somebody who likes to eat some meat, the food looks great. Some freshly caught fish here from this beautiful ocean we're staying on. And we got some pork. Life's good. Back on the boat we go. How you feeling, Tom? Refreshed. Yeah. Ready for the day. Yeah. Or the half day. Half day, yeah. yeah to be accurate. So come with me. Yeah. Let's get found. I gotta say, Tom's blowing me away with his dad jokes right now. He's <laughs> he read the the book of dad jokes. Hey Christian. Yeah. Do you know why Indian people when they look to the far distance, why they always do it like this? No. Why do they do that? They always do it like this because they said it's really hard if you do it like this. Plot <laughs> twist of the century. Our next stop was a nearby reef that made for some incredible snorkeling. If you make YouTube or Facebook videos and you need high quality copyright free music, then definitely check out the link down below. This is where I get all my music from. So we just got back in the boat here and I was actually swimming with a school of probably like 500 of these little sardines. I don't actually know if they were sardines, but they were tiny little fish in school. And it was so cool because Anthony, our guide, actually lent me his massive, massive, what are they called? Flippers. Flippers, fins. You completely soar through the water. I was able to get probably about like 25 feet deep. Just such a cool feeling to be going through the school of fish and they all kind of circle around you. I actually got like some really rough GoPro footage of it. It was shooting at 14 frames, but this is it. It's pretty cool still. I have to say, today's been like pretty close to perfect. TT travel, the trouble. That's what the other T stands for. It's uh, yeah. trouble and teamwork. Yeah. I like the Zapto shirt too. I'm feeling, it. feeling better now? Yeah, that's good for sure. Had some Matori's drugs? Yeah, she gave me all this weird Indonesian stuff. And yeah. <laughs> feeling better. That's good. Rock and roll, baby. This is Kayangan Lake. All right, and by the way, it's been declared for like three consecutive years in, in Asia, the clearest water in, in Asia. Really? Yes, and then the rock formations and then the water is so good, especially this is the place we're going to see or to feel warm water down there. Wow, okay, perfect, there we go. He's the man. There's a Komodo dragon down there, just like I saw in Flores. Look at it, he's just swimming back there. <laughs> How neat is that? Which is the belief of the native people that until now, there's like different kinds of Huge creature. Protected. There's a belief there's a dragon that lives in there. No, a, a giant octopus. 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 Really? See the sign over there? Ooh. Really? Giant octopus. Have people gone missing? Is that why? No. Until now, it's it's closed. Even as locals, we're not allowed to go there. Okay. You're not allowed to go in because they're crazy. Because what? Out of 13 different lakes right here, they only open two lakes to the public. Yeah. And most of them are close because it's sacred place for all the native people. So we gotta go up all these stairs here. 367 of them. That right there, that's husband material. I feel like I'm looking at like the poster of a tourism ad as you walk through the airport, showing off their best location. This would be it. So much beauty in one place. While we didn't have the opportunity to see all the incredible lakes this island has to offer, we were able to see Kayangan Lake. And if you can overlook the orange neon life jackets, this will easily be one of the most beautiful places you ever encounter. I was absolutely fascinated by the idea that even the locals couldn't visit all of the lakes here on Corona Island. So I did a little bit of research and to be honest, there was not a whole lot on the internet. What I came up with is that the people living here in the Corona Island are known as the Kalamian Tagbanwa. Please don't quote me on the pronunciation. According to a blog online, the lakes inside of Corona are sacred and they're only open for certain religious purposes to certain people. And yes, apparently this is home to a giant octopus. The local people refer to this octopus as the Kunlala Bayut. As of right now, the government has actually given the Tagbanwa people full ownership of this island, full respect of their traditions. But with the rising tourism, there's definitely a question as to whether there will be some pressure applied in the coming years. After a nice stop at the lake, it was time to board our boat and head back to Quran proper. On the way back, we had that incredible fiery red sunset that made these beautiful limestone mountains even more dramatic. This was something out of a fairy tale. Banana, it's a 
never had anything like it. I don't love it, but I definitely don't dislike it. I could eat another. So right now we're just heading back to the port. It's been a complete day here from 8.30 to 6 p.m. And I have to say, this is definitely a must-do tour. This is the Corona Island tour. Just make sure you ask for the Twin Lagoon. I highly recommend using K-Tours. Like, I don't always recommend tour groups, but this is one of them that I definitely highly recommend. The tour itself costs around 1,400 pesos, so that's roughly about 30 US dollars, a little bit less, and that even comes with a lunch, so it's definitely worth every penny. Jamie's been straight chilling. What's that, dude? What's that, dude? Keep an eye open for the man right here, Anthony. If this business doesn't work out, you just open up your own comedy bar in Koran. Soon, yeah. I'll be there. Soon. Comedy bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stand up comedian. Perfect. Just one more, and we made it. I don't know about you, but I had a TT travel kind of day. Can that be a slogan? Yeah, that could be. Make your day, make your day a TT day. TT travel, Tom's tremendous triceps. Rock and roll, baby. That's what I have to deal with. Feels so good to be back in AC. A full day out on the islands. We are back at Soleil Garden Resort. This is where I'm going tonight. Nice clean room, yes, yes, yes. Life is too good. I love this place. Well, if this video didn't inspire you to go pack your bags and buy a one-way ticket to the Philippines, then I really don't know what will. But if you're one of those people who are looking for the adventure of a lifetime, you are in luck because I've actually made an entire travel video guide just for you. It gives you all the information you could ever need on the musty locations, the hidden gems, everything from packing your bags to safety, and even how to save money on your trip to the Philippines. Make sure to check out the link down below in the description of this here video. And you can check out the completely free 5 Hot Tips to the Philippines. It will be a great head start for your trip. And guys, if you're new to my channel, a huge welcome. I would invite you to hit that subscribe button, become part of the channel, and let's get lost again in the next one. Fan of the day.